Hey Pisces, welcome and welcome back Ooh, to Pisces Network, you guys. Okay, the Nine of Coins. Thank you so much for being here. As always, I hope that you are finding peace along your journeys. And I pray that this message reaches you well. And if not, I hope that you'll soon be well. Thank you for being here. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And thank you to everyone who's so supportive. You guys support me in so many ways. And I really appreciate it because even some things that I don't catch, y'all catch it and you be on it, okay? In the comments, thank you guys. I've been seeing y'all put folks in check, honey. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles definitely tells me that you guys come from a really good background, a really good lineage. Maybe not directly if, you know, you may have had some challenging experience with your parents. Um, but I feel like in terms of your DNA, in terms of your bloodline, in terms of where you come from spiritually on your... Well, in terms of like your soul, you guys come from a great background, so... Thank you so much for all your love and support. The Pisces Apparel is going to be on sale until November 19th. 10% off. The code is Fall Vibes. The shop link is below. So if you guys want to check that out before the sale is over with, be sure to check it out. I have my eyes on the Pisces Sleeps with Third Eye Open hoodie. Okay. Because I have the Pisces Intuition hoodie with the kind of like mermaid princess on it. I also have Love, Peace, and Pisces as well in purple. I have the This Is My Circle, Respect My Boundaries t-shirt. And I also have, I have another one. I think it's, it's I can't remember which one it is. It's like navy color, but it's a t-shirt. Okay, so you guys go ahead and check it out if you like. Anything you need to know is below in the description box. And if you are new, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I will let you know, though, before you subscribe that I am my own person. Very eclectic. I do what I feel like I need to do when I feel like I need to do it. And sometimes you may not like me. So if you're a sensitive individual who doesn't like to be challenged, this may not be the channel for you. And I wish you all the best, honey. Okay. So let's go ahead and see, Pisces, who's coming towards you at this time that you are unaware of. That's what I want to focus on in this reading. Who's coming towards you? Why are they coming towards you? And what is hidden in the situation that you may not see? So let's go ahead and get started for Pisces. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, Father, Mother, God. Who is coming towards Pisces that they are unaware of at this time? Who may be coming towards Pisces unbeknownst to them at this time? At this particular juncture in their journey, in their experience, who's coming towards Pisces? Thank you, spirit. Oh, bitch, the Ace of Cups in reverse. So it's either a water sign or an earth sign. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's just how I read. When the card is in reverse, it's the opposite to me. So opposite in every way. This is someone who... Maybe pouring out their emotions to you or someone who just is not very emotionally connected. They're maybe a little emotionally detached. Um, and then we have the star card. Okay, so it may be an Aquarius. And then we have the five of wands. Interesting. So Leo and Aquarius energy. And it's funny I talk about opposites. So this may be someone who is your opposite. Maybe this is a Virgo. Okay, but um, five of wands is Leo energy. Okay. I'm not an astrologer, but I'm just giving y'all the basics. And Aquarius is the opposite of Leo, so it's very interesting. This could be an influencer coming towards you, or this could be someone um, who maybe needs you to pray for them. I feel like somebody needs you to pray for them. Or something like that. Okay. Okay. This could be someone who does not have the greatest of feelings towards you. They may be hoping or wishing for some type of conflict. But I feel like with these cups pouring out and this 
cup being in reverse, it feels like someone is pouring out their emotions to you about some type of conflict that they may be experiencing at this time, okay? So what is the Ace of Cups? What is the Ace of Cups for Pisces? The World card. So something has definitely ended for someone here. A cycle of someone's life has come to a close. And maybe they're coming towards you to explain this to you, tell you about it, or ask for spiritual like support. It really feels like someone needs some type of spiritual support and they're just pouring out all of their emotions, okay, in this situation. Because they may have just gone through a very difficult ending. Okay. What else is this Ace of Cups? For who's coming towards Pisces? What else is this Ace of Cups? That one. Ooh, the Emperor. Okay, so maybe I, I don't know. I don't know who it is, to be honest with you. I really don't think the signs matter as much as people make it seem like they do. But, you know, some people like to hear the signs. So all the signs that I've seen so far are Aquarius, Aries most strongly. I'm really maybe getting Virgo, um, Leo, maybe Taurus, or Scorpio. Definitely Leo and Aquarius, possibly Taurus and Scorpio, um, and then Aries, okay. This is someone who I feel like had to take control of their life. They had to take some type of control over their life. They may have had to make some type of sacrifice. I really do feel like this is someone who made some type of sacrifice for, for a greater good or a greater cause. This could have been someone who, damn, hold on, y'all. This is really interesting, hold on. Cause I'm getting something about like, their foundation possibly being, um, disrupted someone's someone may have ended a job right with the emperor and the world this could mm, ah, this is crazy i don't know who this person is but we got the star the emperor and the world so i don't know if this person is an influencer online or some type of influential leader i don't know who this is i don't know if like a politician or somebody is campaigning in your city state or zip code but it seems like it's a political influencer or an online influencer or something like that. It's crazy because it kind of feels like this person had to like give something up or end some type of career opportunity or they had to end some type of relationship or they couldn't start a relationship, something like that. Until something else was over with. Let's see. This is like a major ending in someone's life or a major cycle that has come to a close. Like someone who is out of control or they no longer have control. I don't necessarily feel like this person is out of control because the emperor is upright, but it's like they, some type of, it's like some type of job or position has come to an end and they're unhappy about it. Something. 
What is this emperor? What is the emperor for Pisces? Ooh. Nine of Pentacles, which we just saw, the Hierophant, the Nine of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. It's like a social leader, like somebody, a social leader or something. This could be a teacher, professor. Someone, it just feels like someone in a leadership role. Okay. With all the red. But I feel like root chakra. Like I, I really feel like someone's foundation has changed or their position has changed on a particular subject or topic. Someone who tries to be very fair or balanced or who feels like they have to be very fair or balanced. But I feel like they're afraid of some type of power or something. Two nines. So some, it, it's definitely something coming to an end. Yeah, there's a change that's going on in this person's life. And I feel like people don't really know too much about this. I feel like this is hidden. The transformation that this person is going through. Interesting. What's the world? The Page of Pentacles. What else is the world? Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Title Card, and the Two of Wands. So someone's made a decision about their job or a decision about your job. It's like someone is no longer giving to one particular part of their life. I feel like it's a career, so I'm not sure. But someone is not giving, someone has stopped giving to a particular hobby or career or creative venture, political venture, um, social venture. Someone has stopped giving to this to give to something else. And it's like they're worried or fearful about like, I don't think it's really about what other people are gonna think, but whatever this is that they're giving to, instead of giving to whatever they've been giving to, is causing some type of conflict, I feel. This could be someone whose marriage is coming to an end, someone whose career is coming to an end. And I feel like they're worried that this decision will affect people negatively or it will affect the way people see them negatively. But they've made a decision about a particular job or a title. This could be someone who wants to relocate, but it's either like a, a someone who's deciding to end a marriage or someone who's decided to end one particular job and go to another. It's like someone who's ending a marriage or a contract or a relationship to go towards something different. Maybe they want to focus on their career instead of a relationship, or they want to focus on someone new instead of whoever they've been with, or they want to focus on a different career path or a hobby or passion instead of what they've been doing for several years. 
It's like they're contemplating what they've been doing. They're contemplating where they've been. They're contemplating their job title, their relationship, their finances, okay? And they want to communicate about this offer, okay? I don't really think that this person... This person is really private. I feel like this person is really private because it's really hard for me to read this person. I don't know exactly who they are, but it's it's really hard for me to read them. And it kind of feels like they're a little bit nervous about doing something independently or going off on their own when it comes to this situation. Ten of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like someone has to, someone has to do something alone. Five of Pentacles and the Five on the Hierophant. So it's like this person is going through some uncomfortable changes in their work. This person is having like money woes, or they're like I'm hearing woe is me. I just keep hearing, woe is me, woe is me. So it's like they have a lot of woes or worries, possibly about whatever this is that they're giving to. Someone may be a, a worried about like how people in the church are going to see them. Someone may be worried about like how they're being viewed by God, how they're being judged. Yeah, it's like they're worried about being judged for doing something on their own, doing something independently. Or someone is making them feel judged for their work or what they choose to do. And this person feels very abandoned. They feel very alone. I feel like they feel shut off in their career. So it's like someone who's being shunned. It feels like someone who's being shunned, like someone's career is over or their uh, influence has been challenged with the five of wands and the star card. Their influence has been challenged or something like that. Can I just get one card for the ace of cups? Thank you. Oh, bitch. I know you lie. This is someone who's unhappy about being controlled or unhappy about some type of deal or contract. So they may be asking your advice or your opinion, okay? Knight of Swords and the Three of Wands. So I feel like you can expect communication from this person. Not exactly sure who they are, but you can expect communication from this person. But it's like someone is really unhappy. Like they're just pouring out all of their emotions about this, this situation that they feel trapped in. But it's like they're not really trapped. They can leave. But I feel like it's something attached to leaving that's going to bring some type of like shame or disappointment either to them or another group of people. Okay, the Ten of Cups is at the bottom and the Eight of Swords. So someone could be feeling trapped in a marriage or trapped in like a family situation. Like this could even be like, I don't know. This could be a political group. This could be some type of social group. This could be um, something like a, I don't want to say cult, but it kind of feels like it with the devil card and the hierophant. Like there's rules and regulations and you have to follow and you have to pass all these tests and I don't know. It just kind of feels a little weird. Like, it kind of feels like secret society shit. And I don't really know about that. But it's like if someone feels like they're trapped in this family. So maybe this is just someone who you know who has, like, maybe a very religious family. And they're more spiritual. And they're going against their family. Maybe not going to church. And their family has maybe a problem with it. And they could be coming to you for advice. Because maybe they know that you are more spiritual I don't know. It kind of feels weird because it feels like someone maybe is trying to start like an like a new religion, like independently, like their own religion or like.
Because with the Six of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Hierophant, and the Nine of Pentacles, it's like, like someone comes from a really good family. Or someone comes from a very influential family, a very wealthy family, but they feel trapped to this family. And I feel like this person needs your advice or something. And they want to communicate with you about how unhappy they are because they feel trapped. I don't know if they're trapped in a marriage or like a family that they were born into, but someone feels trapped. And I feel like they want a different perspective with the Two of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. It's like, excuse me. Because I feel like it's like they're trying to weigh their options. Like, what do I do? I don't know what to do about this job. Or I don't know what to do about this marriage. I just don't know what to do. Because I feel like this person feels like they're losing control. Okay. Why is this person coming towards Pisces? Okay, we have the King of Swords. They want to talk. Okay. They definitely want to come towards you and have a conversation. Because the Knight of Swords was here. Two of Cups is here. I feel like they want to come towards you and have a conversation. Why are they coming towards you to talk? To express something? To communicate? Three of Swords and the Eight of Cups. This could be someone who wants to communicate about how you made them feel, possibly. Um, it could just be a mutual conversation where you guys are discussing how one another made the other person feel. This could be somebody who walked away from you in the past or you felt like you had to walk away from them in the past and there was a lot of pain involving that situation on both sides. Okay. What's the King of Swords? Okay. The Six of Coins again. Okay. So we've seen the Nine of Pentacles twice and the Six of Pentacles twice. This is someone who's ready to like focus on themselves or focus on what they want. Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles, okay? Whenever I see the King of Swords, I feel like someone has a strategy. And the feathers like on this particular King of Swords makes me feel like they're wise, like they're really wise. Or they have some type of like higher perspective because the feathers from a bird, birds fly. They have a higher perspective. I don't know if that's the real meaning, but there's a bird on the card. So it's like someone who has a, this, this person has a higher perspective about a situation or they want to offer you a different perspective to something that you may be doing. But it's like they want to help you. And this is going to sound crazy, but I feel like they want to help you weaken someone else. I don't know what this is. It's like they want to help you win some type of fight or win some type of battle. They want to help you weaken someone else. They want to give you some type of assistance or maybe they're asking you for assistance in fighting some type of battle that they're going through. What else is the King of Swords? The Wheel of Fortune, wow. They want to change their focus or change what they're investing their time into. Like the Six of Pentacles is make like the Six of Pentacles is balance. And it could be giving to two different things, but it's like they want to change that. They want to change what they're investing their energy into, what they're focusing on. Yeah, the Eight of Swords, King of Cups. It's like Someone wants to change the way that they're focusing their emotions or what they're focusing on when it comes to their emotion. I just really feel like this person is trapped in a career position or a political position or they feel trapped in a family or a relationship.
Now, this could also be someone who is married, has a family, and they feel trapped in this marriage or family, and they've been worried about giving to other people outside of the marriage. It's like they, they're married, but they act single. And they could be a little bit, you know, controlling, but they may be coming towards you because they feel like they're losing control. This could be a Capricorn, an Aries, a Taurus, maybe a Libra, okay, for some of you. Like for some of you, as someone who feels trapped in something and they just they they innocently want help because they don't know what to do and for others of you this is someone who feels trapped in something but they project that as control and try to control other people and then for some of you i feel like this is someone who's deciding to maybe offer you a position or a job or something like that because they either want your help uh taking down some type of controlling power or they want to help you do that, okay? Those are the options. What's the Six of Pentacles? The Six of Coins, sorry. Damn. The King of Cups and the Ace of Wands. This could even be someone giving you some type of donation, a gift. That's going to change, like, the trajectory of what's going on in, in your life or what you're doing. They either want to escape some type of conflict or they want to help you escape some type of conflict. They may also need help like learning how to learn or it's, it's really confusing. Like this person is confusing to me and I feel like that's not haphazard. Like that's not for no reason that the reading is confusing because I feel like maybe this person is confused or they're in their head. It's like there's some type of like conflict going on or training. This could be you going through training at a new job. This could be someone who works for you who may be unhappy with their job currently or their contract. They may be asking for a raise. If you're the boss, maybe this is your boss coming to you after you've asked for a raise over and over. What else is the six of coins? Four of wands. Somebody could feel very alone in a relationship or they could feel very alone within their position. Like they don't have a lot of people that relate to them regarding the work that it is that they do. Or it's like they know that you don't have a lot of supporters so they want to invest or give you some type of gift. Yeah, this five of pentacles keeps coming out. I feel like either someone feels very weak and and they need strength and they're coming to you to try to like get that strength because they know that you're very intuitive and strong or this is someone who's trying to help you change something and they're going to help you change something secretly like they're going to teach you the ropes they're going to give you information they're going to help you and support you to balance out some type of injustice i definitely feel like there's a lot of skills balance we just saw the temperance Six of coins, six of pentacles. Someone is definitely, this person is definitely unhappy about some type of mistreatment in a particular group or relationship.
And it's like they want to fight to help you do something or they need your help fighting with them. What's the Wheel of Fortune? King of Wands. What else? Ace of Pentacles and the Moon. Yeah, it's like someone wants to give to you secretly or they want your advice secretly like they don't want anybody to know that you're giving them the advice but it's like they're gonna pay you for it or i don't i don't know what it is it's like they want your insight they want your opinion they want your feedback could be a leo because the moon is here and then you have the sun like you're gonna realize who's been supporting you or you're gonna realize who's had your back this whole time or someone feels like they should have had your back this whole time. And now they realize they should have had your back because now they are being criticized or critiqued by the same people who they helped criticize or critique you. Like, it kind of feels like you ask your boss for a raise, but your boss doesn't give you a raise because they've been hearing your other coworkers talk shit about you. And then pretty much they realize something about your other coworkers that disappoints them. So now they understand your side and they end up coming to you, giving you the raise and like letting you in on what's been going on. But this also kind of feels like someone who may be in a relationship or a marriage and they want to give you an opportunity. Like, I don't know what that is about, but they want to offer you something, but they want it to like be a secret. They either secretly want to help you or they secretly want you to help them or they secretly want to make this offer to you, give you this opportunity. I don't know. It feels a little funny. What's this King of Swords? But it's like you're going to realize what's going on. Like with the Sun card and the Hangman. Like either someone realizes that you have the key or the information. Or someone is realizing that you make them happy and you're the reason why they've been happy or whatever. Or it's like you're going to realize what this person has been doing like secretly. I don't know. It feels really like, it feels really like, you know, you know, like that's how it feels. What's the King of Swords? Page of Wands. Yeah, they want to talk. They want to send you a message. They want to communicate. Okay. And there's the Ace of Swords. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups in reverse. So this is about starting something new. Like... Somebody who wants to start something new or uh, clear the slate, start off fresh. And I feel like they want to communicate about the truth or communicate about some type of clarity that they received. Or they want to communicate with you about what's going on with them so that you can help offer them some type of clarity. Okay. Because it's like they're worried. They're, they're, they're worried about this relationship or they're worried about accomplishing this goal. They're worried about branching off possibly and doing something new because they could be a part of a, like a, I don't know. It's like, I feel like somebody's a part of a society. I don't want to say secret society, but I don't know. It kind of feels like that with the devil and the hierophant and then the moon. So it's like, I listen, <laughs> Something has changed and I feel like somebody wants to clear things up or tell you the truth. Look at this. This person wants to tell you the truth about what's changed or they want to tell you the truth about what the fuck is going on behind the scenes. Okay. What's hidden for Pisces? What's hidden? Oh, the devil. Jesus Christ. So, I mean, what the fuck? What else is hidden? The Knight of Swords.
What else is hidden? Can I get one more? All right, we have the Seven of Swords and the Five of Cups. So someone is definitely going through a major challenge. We had the Hierophant. We saw the Five of Pentacles several times. We had the Five of Wands and now the Five of Cups. So Wands, Cups, Pentacles. Swords is the only one we don't have. So it's like the Five of Swords. It's like somebody's trying to win. Somebody's trying to get a get an edge up or a, a one up on someone. And I don't think it's you. I feel like someone wants to elicit or solicit your help to get the one up on someone else. So they may be wanting you to like tell them what you think about a situation that they're going through, either in a relationship, a marriage or a job contract or in some type of societal like community or group. This person is worried, though, about telling you this strategy because they feel like they may regret it. OK, with the devil, because they're unhappy about the devil, but the devil is hidden. So it's like they don't know who's on their side or they don't know where they don't know who's watching. Like, I, I just heard Michael Jackson. And for those of you who don't want me to sing, I'm about to sing. So click off, bitch. I always feel like somebody's watching me. That's what I hear. Oh, you know, and, and you know what's weird? Like I was watching, you know, it's so fucking weird. That's why, like, man, it's a lot of like, I, I really don't want those devices, like those, um, you know, Alexa and all that shit, like in my house, like, because it's so weird. Like when you have those cameras in your house, it's like, yes, it does protect you, but people can easily hack into that shit. And I don't mean to make anybody scared. I just feel like, you know, you need to be aware of it, but you don't have to be scared about it. You just need to be aware of it so that you can take whatever precautions that you need or I don't know. But it's like, I just don't want that type of stuff in my house because people were like, I was watching these videos. Um, I think it was on Slap Tam, right? So I was watching these videos where people had the cameras in their house and then somebody would all of a sudden start playing Michael Jackson. I always feel like somebody's watching me. And they would be like, what is that? Like, and they, they would be trying to figure it out and they would figure out that it was their camera. And that's the kind of like the energy that I'm feeling. It's like somebody's trying to get away from this devil energy or take flight away from this. There's another bird. So somebody has information about this group or this individual who's really toxic i don't know what it is now this could literally be someone who's married to a capricorn that they're afraid to separate from because they feel like maybe this person is going to take them for all they have in child support you know like i kind of feel like somebody's unhappy in a job a marriage or a relationship and they know that if they leave, they're going to break a contract, which means that they're going to miss out on money. So if it's a job, they're going to miss out on some type of finances that they would have got maybe from severance or whatever, um, or a pension or like, I don't know, life, um, you know, pensions and um, retirement and all that stuff. They may forfeit some type of like large sum of money. Or if it's like a marriage, this person may get like a lot of child support or they're going to have to pay a lot of alimony because of the position that this person is in. Like, I don't want to say it's money laundering, but it kind of feels like money laundering. Like, because I'm not, I don't launder money, so I don't know exactly what it means, but it kind of feels like someone is giving money to you or they want to give, they want to offer you like some type of incentive to hide their money so that they don't have to give their money to these other people or something. It's, it's something like that. And then we have the tower and the lovers. Dang. This person is like making some unexpected choices or this is happening like out of the blue or there's some type of storm going on in this person's life or in their heart. But wherever they're wherever they are they're they do not want to be there like they are so done with this situation. And I feel like they're trying to get away from this devil energy or this 
this organization, this group, they're trying to get out of this contract. And this is their strategy because they regret signing the contract or it, or whatever. And they may even secretly feel like they may regret doing this. But when I saw the Seven of Swords earlier, it kind of felt like someone was trying to like, I can't remember the words I use, but it's like someone's trying to put someone else at a disadvantage sneakily, you know. Scorpio energy with the tower. Okay. We also saw the death card earlier. Lovers could be Gemini, Aries with the um, Emperor, Taurus, maybe Libra with the Hierophant, Capricorn twice with the Devil, Cancer with the Moon. Leo was out with the Sun. You Pisces with the Hangman and the High Priestess. Interesting. It's like they're worried about this strategy working out. Like, so if somebody comes to you and they feel really confident or they sound really confident or they try to make you feel like they're very confident about whatever this is that their plan is, it's like they may not have as much confidence in the plan as what they're portraying to you. But it's like someone is worried about going out on their own with this. There's definitely, they, they definitely want to communicate. What's this five of cups? There's the five of swords. What am I saying? Five of swords, the world, the king of swords, and the six of swords. Okay. And that's seven swords again. It's like someone is planning a strategy to get away from a difficult situation or a very tumultuous situation. And they've learned a lot. There's a lot of thinking. This person is thinking about every decision that they've made, I feel, with this five of cups. They're thinking of every decision that they've made and they're thinking about the strategies that they've tried to use, maybe how they've cheated, lied, tried to get ahead, things like that. And... They regret it. I feel like they regret doing this. Seven of Cups and the High Priestess. I just heard lost soul. Like, they may feel like a lost soul. Like, I don't know. Somebody may feel like they sold their soul. I mean, the devil is here twice. So, somebody may feel like they sold their soul. The world is here twice. Okay. We saw the six, six of Pentacles is here twice. We saw the nine of Pentacles twice. Someone may have felt like they sold their soul. And they may feel like they have to tell you about this ending. And it's like, I feel like this person needs your advice or they need your support. Because they just, they just don't know what to do. They don't know what the right choice is to make. And they kind of want to know what's going to come next. So I don't know what impact that you've had on this person in their life. But they feel like you can tell them what's going to come next. Or they feel like you can give them some solid strategic advice. Okay. Or maybe they have solid strategic advice for you. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so this may be what you do for a living. Maybe you are a tarot reader, spiritual advisor. And this is someone who needs help getting out of a contract or some type of... I don't want to say it, but it might be some type of cult shit. I don't know. Some type of religious cult or like a really controlling family. What's the Seven of Swords? Oh my God, the Seven of Swords. And it's in reverse with the Empress. Yeah, this person is worried that they're going to get caught by someone who's the matriarch, okay? Uh, there's either their mother or a baby mother or something like that, a wife or like a woman boss. I don't know, Seven of Swords. What else is the Seven of Swords with this reverse Seven of Swords and the Empress? We have the Two of Swords. That's a lot. It's a lot of sores. This is somebody who's really in their head. And, and I feel like they're just going to dump out with this Ace of Cups in reverse. They are going to literally like word vomit. 
all of this stuff to you. That's what I feel. I feel like they're just going to blurt everything out. They're trying to hide from whoever they're dealing with. They're trying to hide from whoever... You know, I really do feel like this is a married person, to be honest with you. And it's like they're trying to hide something from their spouse. It feels like this is a husband trying to hide something from their wife or a, a man who has a child with someone who's trying to hide this from their child's mother or... Maybe this is someone who's trying to get away from their mother and father because maybe their mother and father are very, like, controlling or something like that. But they don't want this empress to find out their plan. But they want to get away from this person because they regret. I don't know. They, they may regret having a child with them or they may regret starting this business with somebody because it could be a business that someone started with, like, a childhood friend as well. If they're not like married, they may have started a business with a childhood friend. Now they want to get away from this person because it's not going the way that they thought it was going. Or they it's not going the way they thought it was going to go. I definitely feel like there's birth here because the world is out here twice too. And I'm definitely seeing womb energy, especially with this one. It's kind of like this person doesn't want to fight anymore. Yeah, look. And in the Five of Wands and the Strength card, this person doesn't want to fight anymore. They don't want to fight with who they're dealing with. They don't want to fight with this company. They don't want to fight with this organization or group. They don't want to fight with whoever this is anymore. Maybe they don't want to fight with you. What's the King of Knight of Swords? Knight of Swords. Sorry. What's the Knight of Swords? Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Decided to give y'all a little long one. Okay. What's the Knight of Swords? The title card again. What else is the Knight of Swords? The Five of Wands. Like, oh, Six of Wands. I'm sorry. I feel like this is a very successful person in their position. Or they're bringing attention to their title or their position. And it's like maybe they want to shift their image. We got a reading about that. The Knight of Swords. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. They feel, they want to express their emotions. They they kind of want to follow where this is going to lead. They, they're going somewhere. And they want to change their image. That's crazy. Um... Like, someone could have even gotten struck with the love bug, with this tower and the lovers. I kind of want to see. I know this is different, but what's this devil? Six of Wands. Wow. So, somebody's really attached to success. Okay. Six of Wands. Or someone wants to be victorious over this toxic person or this toxic group or this toxic energy. They want to have victory in this situation. Or they've had victory in their career, but they maybe want to change the way they're viewed or something like that. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Queen of Pentacles twice, okay. Who's this Queen of Pentacles up here at the top? Yeah, two of coins and the eight of swords. Yeah, it's like it's like someone is, yeah. Like, I feel like whoever this Queen of Pentacles Empress person is, there's someone who's trying to get away from this person because they're either too focused on success too worried about money. And that's what I feel like it is. Like someone is too attached to like attention and all of that stuff. And then there's the four of swords again and the ten of cups.
What's the two of coins and the eight of swords? Ace of swords, page of coins, and the knight of coins. So whoever this queen of pentacles is, they're worried and concerned about their family, healing their family, supporting their family, making sure maybe that their children are supported if they have them or that their business is balanced and running properly. Now, this could also be someone who is really like it's like I kind of feel like someone who's worried about being poor or like worried about like not having any money. I feel like this is somebody who came from like a family with wealth or money and that they're like really money driven. And then we have the Ten of Cups again and the Three of Pentacles. But it's like someone wants to work on a family dynamic or heal a family dynamic. Heal a relationship, work on a relationship, build a relationship. Now, this could be you, okay? I want to see who's this empress now, okay? Because I feel like there's there's one masculine and possibly several feminines. Because we see the Queen of Pentacles. We have the empress. And then the Queen of Wands showed up down here. The King of Swords is here twice. The King of Cups came out twice. The King of Wands is here and we saw the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, but what's this Empress energy? Justice. Now, this could be someone who just has a strategy to... Uh, let their feelings out to you, Pisces, and they they may want to offer you a relationship, but they're worried about whether or not you're going to accept it because you're very independent. Okay. The Fool and the Ten of Wands. What else is the Empress? King of Cups. Yeah, this is someone who this person feels like is their justice. So this could be how they feel about you. Like this person could feel like you're their justice. Um, and they may not know what choice you're going to make. They know you're loyal to your work. Excuse me. And they're not really sure what you're going to pick. What's the devil and the six of wands down here? Three of swords and the four of cups. It kind of feels like someone who wants to make up for the fact that they didn't appreciate you or treat you right. Two of Wands. Queen of Swords. Yeah, it's like you may have decided to cut somebody off because you may have felt like they didn't appreciate you or treat you right. You could be very worried about your career, your family. You know, like making sure that 
you have everything in order for your life and protecting what you have and making sure that you follow in the footsteps of the people who came before you in whatever way, shape, or form. I feel like the reading was talking a lot about this person in terms of what they do because this may be why they're coming towards you like at this time, like why they're coming towards you. I feel like it's to make you an offer, but it's definitely, there's definitely something hidden about this person's um, intentions, their agenda. This, this is a mess. Like just the fact that the whole table is a mess. This is a mess. Child. I really don't know. How, and, and I know I've been sitting here for an hour and still don't like it. It might seem like I didn't say anything. Like, I feel like I just really didn't say anything. And I've been sitting here for an hour. So it's like, really, what the fuck is going on? You get what I'm saying? Like, what is really going on with this person or this situation? And it's like this person, whatever's hidden is that they don't want you to find out their strategy. Seven of Swords clarified by the Seven of Swords in reverse. Two of Swords, the Empress. They don't want you to find out about their strategy. Because I feel like someone sees you as the match that's right for them or they... It's like the decision is going to be up to you. With the Queen of Swords and the Two of Wands, the decision is going to be up to you. But it's like someone wants to tell you that they're really attracted to you or that they feel like you're a good match for them based on their position. But somebody is really like attached to attention. So I don't know. I'm kind of picking up on someone else. Like this person may be attached to attention, but they may also be either married in a relationship or dealing with or partnered with friends with or in a business partnership with someone who's really attached to attention or there's someone who is like famous in the public eye. Like, I don't know who this person is. Cause it's like, whoever this queen of Pentacles is and this empress, it's like, they are justice. They're balanced. So I don't really think it's like, I don't know. I don't really think it's another person that's like this person is running away from. I think it's more like a, an organization or a job or a group or an entity. And I feel like this person sees you as like their balance or they see you as their justice or they see you as someone who's going to be able to like balance out their thoughts, give them good feedback or give them good recommendations on what they need to do about this other situation. But I'm not sure what this other situation is. It's very secretive. It's very like elusive, but it's like, they feel like you would have the secrets to transform something, or you would know how to change a situation that they're dealing with. That's really difficult that they feel trapped in or attached to. This person, I like, I keep picking up on the same person. It's like they may not have told you that they moved or changed careers or relocated, but it's like they want to come talk to you bad. And they continue to be in this energy of like limbo and contemplation where they don't know how to approach you or like they don't know when the right time would be to approach you. And I feel like it's because they feel guilty about, yes, look at that. It's because they feel guilty, I feel, about hurting you or not appreciating you or creating these delusions in their mind about who you really were or who you really are. And now it's like they see that you're actually like good to them or you're you're a good person. So spirit let the card yes come out. So I feel like I said what I needed to say. What else? Um, what is this person's intentions towards Pisces? Oh, ulterior motives came out in the reverse now. Okay. It says hidden agenda, but I but I feel like they still do have some of these traits. Hidden agenda, cunning, sly, devious, trickery, scheming, sneaky, and crafty. So 
they have a they have a tendency to do this but i don't think their intention is to do this now Ooh, but then you got revenge damn retaliation tit for tat payback when you try to have a motherfucker's back and see that might be the situation like damn you try to have somebody's back and they you know they fuck you they fuck you in the ass and then you have gaslighting okay blame shifting manipulation emotional abuse narcissistic tactics and proceed okay so maybe you might need to just proceed from this situation with this person you may just need to move on proceed shall i proceed yes indeed okay it's really funny this girl called me ghetto in the comments because i like to sing and you know probably because i curse and reference ethnic things that she's unaware of as a person <laughs> and it was like y'all came in and just like beat it down okay y'all came in and supported your girl so thank you so much for that i want y'all to know i be seeing that shit like y'all have done that in the past and sometimes i don't say anything about it because i don't like to focus on negativity but like this girl was writing whole lines and paragraphs talking about how i need to stop being ghetto and she got all these followers on tiktok well bitch get off my page then if that's what it is get the fuck off my page I'm not being ghetto. It's white people out here that curse all the time. What what was that fucking channel on YouTube that just got banned from like, I don't know if they got banned from YouTube or Twitter, but like it, it like H three H three because they like sent all of their subscribers and followers after somebody and they didn't even have the right person and all they do is cuss on there and talk shit. So bitch, I'm gonna need you to take several seats and go back over there to TikTok. Get off YouTube. Or get off my page. Because you're offering me business advice that I didn't even ask for, ho. So, <laughs> but let me stop. Because I'm not trying to go there. Like, what is the advice for Pisces? Thank you. Choose wisely and don't go chasing waterfalls. And they're both sixes because 24 goes to a six. Um, I feel like five is the significant number in this reading. Six is a significant number, Pisces. And I just feel like... This is a situation where you have to really discern and uh, use your intuition when it comes to evaluating what this person is saying, making certain decisions and all that type of stuff. And you have to do what you feel like is right, but you can't try to change a person or change a situation. Um, now, I do feel like this person may not have an issue with you. They may not be gaslighting you, but they could be gaslighting everybody. So you're included. But with this ulterior motives in the reverse, revenge, um, proceed and gaslighting, it's like, I don't know, maybe someone wants to continue to be able to gaslight you or someone else. This person may be trying to use you to get revenge on someone else. So they're it's like their ulterior motives may not be towards you, but they do have the tendency to have ulterior motives. And if they have ulterior motives towards another person and they want to use you to kind of act out those ulterior motives, then they still have ulterior motives. Like if they want to get revenge on someone else and they're using you to get revenge on someone else, then ultimately you're being gaslighted at the same time. So I don't, I mean, I definitely feel like it's it's necessary for you to make sure that you do what's right for you in this situation and, and don't try to make a situation out to be better than what it really is. Because I feel like that's what somebody's trying to do. It's like they're, maybe they're trying to get sympathy from you so you'll help them. And it's just like, well, what's, but what's really going on? Like, what's the truth? You know, we have separation here and then there's separation in this card as well. And then we have love surrounds you and there's plenty of fish in the sea that wanted to show itself. So Pisces, I mean, I just feel like don't settle, don't settle, don't settle, don't settle, don't settle for anything in your life. Like do what it is that you feel like you want to do when you feel like you want to do it. And don't let anyone change you from who you know you are because they want to get some type of result. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the reading. Thank you so much for your love and support being here with me, for me, commenting, liking, subscribing, all of that good stuff. Be sure you guys are subscribed. If you have post notifications turned on, but you're not getting notifications, switch the setting to off, close YouTube, come back in, switch it back to all. Maybe that'll change something. I don't know. But y'all be sure to stay safe out here. And I love you guys. Remember, 
This is our circle booze. Bye.